Calgary taking part in the legal challenge that Toronto's yes. pursuing against the Ontario government. What's going to happen? There? Well, you know, although uh, the um, the court ruling was thrown out, so the election is going ahead on Monday in Toronto, the appeal still stays in place. And that appeal raises a number of very interesting constitutional questions around the role of cities. This sounds very dry, but it's actually really important. Probably the best um, analogy I can use here is to say this is a bit like the LGBTQ rights movement 20 years ago, where the Constitution didn't say anything about gay rights, but people were saying, look, the intent of the Constitution is that people be treated equally and fairly. So it's, it's an imperfect analogy, but if you apply that, the Constitution doesn't say anything about cities. But voters are voters, and voters have voting rights. And so it's a good opportunity for us to start testing with the courts whether those voting rights that are enshrined in the Constitution for, uh, excuse me, for provincial and federal elections should also be read in as applying to municipal elections. So signing on to that, is that like Calgary has a lawyer taking part in this? Or are we sending a brief or just saying, hey, I don't know we're on what the, I don't know what that's going to look like. The good news is that we've got... Uh, office full of incredibly smart lawyers uh, here, and this is an incredibly important conversation for the future of the city, so I'd love to hear what they have to say. And do you know, is that Calgary acting alone? Is that acting with, in concert with Edmonton, AUMA, how's that? So um, the Alberta Urban Municipalities Association endorsed the position but voted not to intervene as a body. The Federation of Canadian Municipalities, I believe, has voted to intervene as a body. Um, and I'll have a chat with uh, Mayor Iveson, who is both the Mayor of Edmonton and the Chair of the Big City Mayor's Caucus of the Federation of Canadian Municipalities about how that might look. Obviously, it makes sense for us to go in together and share cost, but we want to make sure that these specific arguments that make sense for Alberta and for Calgary are reflected in that work.